So guys, we are finally back from Copart. No, this is not Copart, this is IA. Shout out to IA, we're back from IA. And when I say we, I mean Jonathan and Erlon. I wasn't there. So I am finally seeing the F10 M5 and it's honestly looking so, so, so good. Now it is a running and driving. When I say driving, I mean when auctions say it's driving, it's drive. It means it turns on and, and runs. Yes. Yeah, I don't know. But about. I mean, it turns on, it sounds like a dream, it runs like a dream, super happy. This uh, F10 M5 is honestly one of our bigger purchase cars. Honestly, costs just as much um, as our F, uh, G80 M3. So again, probably one of the more pricier cars, but very, very, very excited to get some inventory on this car in our inventory in Natty Garage. Very excited for that stuff. Kind of just looking at the car surface level, it doesn't look too bad from the front end of this car. We have this wheel slammed, fender slammed. Not a big deal. Got some headlight damage. This bumper actually was not in the auction photos, which was kind of crazy. So this bumper right here is a thousand bucks. That wasn't in the photos. That's a great bonus. Absolutely mint condition, bro. Look at this thing. Somebody would slap this on and not even repaint it because that to me is A1. Anyways. So that's all looking pretty good. Now, the reason we got it so cheap, I know a lot of you guys are like, more. why don't you just put this thing back on the road? <laughs> yeah, this thing's it's pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie. So, so yeah, as you can see the damage, it is looking really, really, really bad. Um, but again, this is the kind of cars you like to get from auction because this kind of damage, the trunks, we normally don't even sell them. They're not really worth much. Uh, the rear bumper would have been worth some good money, but who cares really? Cause it's just the rear bumper, the quarter panel, the trunk stuff. That's not where all the money's at. The main money components is typically in the front end of the car because that's where most accidents happen. We have the whole front radiator support, the headlight brackets, all the engine components, um, the crash bar, the bumper, as you guys saw. We actually already sold one of the headlights. That's why it's not on there. We sold it like before we even got it listed up. We just kind of posted it. And then the hood, obviously the hoods, worth good money, the whole front end is worth good money. So typically we like to go for rear-ended cars. That's kind of the story with this uh, F10 M5. We have so much stuff to take off this car. It is a pretty much almost a complete car, literally just bumper, trunk, we're just gonna let it be, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but other than that, whole interior, have you guys seen the interior? I don't think it's extended leather, but it is definitely a nice leather on here. Yes, so it's not massaging, just heated seats, but I mean, they are really nice, they are plush. Fortunately, this is a pre-LCI, so just have the pre-LCI steering wheel. That being said, also, we have one last little thing I wanna show you guys, which is the head liner if you guys look at it it is like an Elkintara finish it's looks suede. super nice oh so, suede it's very dark so we're not gonna be able to see it in okay here. but it is gorgeous it's, no nice damage switch. again the current airbags did not deploy so that looks fantastic that being said let's go ahead and just start dismantling it and show you guys the full price breakdown on this beast <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we have slowly been working on this M5. Uh, pretty much all that's left are a few little accessories and then the actual engine to get out. The engine did run it and drive. If I haven't already put up a video, I will throw up the video right now. But yeah, so let's go ahead into the interior. The whole front of the interior is still here. The back is slowly getting taken apart. Door panels are off, rear seats are off. All right, guys, and then over here, like I said, it is being taken apart on this side. Um, we got a good amount of parts already listed up. Still have like the brake rotors and calipers, which are good. Those brake calipers and rotors are worth quite a bit of money, so that is good. Good thing they are intact and not destroyed from the accident. All right, guys, here are some of the parts that uh, we need to clean up and get listed over here. A lot of nice M5 parts, M5 specific parts. They go for quite a bit of money still on these F10s, so that is good. Like I said, and like what we normally do in every single video is we're gonna do a price breakdown on all the parts that we have. Show you guys what's worth a lot of money and what is not worth a lot of money. Anyway, let's go ahead, start cleaning these parts up. This coolant hose. It looks like a Spider Man type of coolant hose. This thing is crazy.
finally got the M5 interior fully wrapped up and uh, it's looking pretty good like that. We even got it labeled up. Talking about organization, F10 M5 extended leather 2013 black. So we're gonna get this thing stacked away up top, get this thing out of the way, looking beautiful. Um, so either it's ready for shipment or easily loaded up into someone's truck. Win-win. Finally got this loaded up, let's go ahead and get it stored away. Hey, yo, <laughs> what is going on over here? All right, keep going. Ah, uh, that's good. Tilt it forward. Not too shabby, bro. Certified forklift driver. Perfect, bro. That actually came out perfect. That was like perfect. You want to see it? <laughs> yes, sir. Good driving out here, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get it. Got an easily another interior right here. Yeah, two interiors. Stored away. I'm gonna get some more beams now after that. Looking That's good, good bro. bro. You guys are seeing. You guys are seeing Natty Auto Parts before it's on the rise. You know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> so, <laughs> this is how we're starting out. The little things matter. The little things make us super excited. But we're just trying to get as organized as we possibly can because we're gonna start knocking out a lot of cars. So guys, we got pretty much most of the things knocked out on this car. The whole interior is pretty much done, I believe. Yeah, we got the current airbags out. We got everything else out of the car. Um, so that's looking really, really, really good. Now we got to use this thing as kind of a mini garbage can. Um, we actually might take off these doors and these straddle line trims. It's probably the last things we have to do here. The whole rear end of the car is completely done as well. Um, so the last thing we have to do, honestly, is pull out the drivetrain of this thing. And then the, the F10 on five will be completely finished, which is kind of crazy to say, because we've only started this thing like literally a day ago. So. Yeah, I mean, so far, so good. I uh, will show you guys when the beast is out of the car. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the other prank channel. And uh, today's prank, we got Bart Spray. He's packing boxes right now, so I'm gonna spray it. I'm gonna walk by to my car, walk back, spray like three or four sprays, and hopefully we'll get a good reaction. The camera didn't work, but you can't miss this. <laughs> All right, I'm out here. I'm just messing with it. Dude, you're so hard to prank, dude. <laughs> no, no, dude, it's staged, bro. I thought, bro. Bro, I I thought think... you farted. I was like, bro, that smells like shit. <laughs> gosh dang it, dude. Oh, this was... oh, he has all the pranks, bro. Homemade. <laughs> Homemade? Gosh dang, dude. Holy crap. You sprayed a lot, too. Nah, I did, but it didn't have to spray it back. Well, I was like, dang. <laughs> well, I was just starting to water. <laughs> It was good, but not as good as we want. We're gonna keep going <laughs> until we just get them good. You know? We gotta get We're a good, good cry. Oh, shoot. I'm sweating, bro. I don't even need my jacket anymore. Bro, it stinks, dude. Dude, I was hoping you would smell it right direction. here. I was walking right there. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't make a reaction though on video. Oh, so I was like, oh, it's right here. Smell that. <laughs> so like my mom's cooking, huh? Come on, <laughs> <laughs> This is like a team effort to get this car on the trailer. This is honestly a lot harder than it looked. All right, guys, so we went and moved the M5 onto the trailer. We brought in another car for parts. Uh, this one is an E90 328. It has some nice BC racing coilovers. You guys see the sticker. It actually has them on there. Pretty much the whole car is good. The engine is bad. That is the reason why we are parting this one out. Has a few little goodies. Has a nice brown interior. Unfortunately, it does not sport, but it is a nice brown interior. And then also has this nice little thing. Energy quick release steering wheel. And then we are bringing another car in 
right now. We also got a nice 335 over here. E93 with the N54 that we're pulling in for parts. Engine is good. Transmission is bad as well as the subframe. So this is why we we're parting out this one So you guys will be seeing these up here soon on our Instagram page definitely check out our Instagram I'll we'll go ahead and leave it right over here right now. Check us out on there. Give us a follow Not too shabby not too shabby all right guys though so then now that the m5 is gone We are bringing in these two cars So if you guys need parts, so let us know down below or hit us up on Instagram so a few days later guys, we got the forklift service. We have the M5 chilling right over here. And then right over here is our 335. The engine got pulled, but because of all of the weight in this convertible, it literally did something that was super unsafe. So uh, this is our first convertible doing on jack stands like this. So uh, live and you learn. But um, yeah, that's how much weight we got in the rear guys. It's kind of crazy how unsafe this is. Anywho, the convertible is officially done. We got everything that we kind of needed off of this car. The rest of the you know extra car parts we were throwing inside this car. This car is almost gonna be ready for scrap as well. Engine transmission. Uh, transmission, I believe, is bad on this car. Uh, so engine's good. So we do have an N54 finally in stock. So like I was saying earlier, guys, the E93 is officially done. We got a lot of the parts right over here, a lot of the parts right over there. Unfortunately, the two M3 seats that were in the car um, have a lot of wear. It has like, this one, no, this one doesn't actually have any gouges in it, but that one has like two key gouges right over here. And this, some bolster wear right over there. Uh, I mean, for $200, which is what we're selling it for, for someone that has beige interior, you're supposed to slap in two, uh, you know, better condition, thicker seats. If you definitely don't have sports and you want to upgrade to sport or something, M3 seats right here, the cheapest M3 seats you guys are ever going to find. And we got some perfect headlights on that car as well, which also works on the E90 M3s and E92 M3s. So those are super nice to have. It was super weird as well, a little added bonus. That car had M3 door sills. So yeah, I mean, we bought a 335. We got some M3 goodies, not gonna lie. All right guys, so we are done parting out the F10 M5 now. So we are gonna go ahead and talk to you guys about the price breakdown, how much we got the car for, how much the parts are worth, and how much we've already sold. So let's go ahead and jump right into it, guys. So we went ahead and got this 2013 M5 for $8,800, pretty much out the door, right? That's out yeah, the door price? That's out the door price. So $8,800 out the door for an F10 M5. That is pretty crazy. Running and driving. It was literally running and driving. Smack really bad in the rear, which is a good car for us to get because yeah. people are not gonna be able in this kind of car. Uh, and it was from the rear. So most parts are in the front. And actually the corner that was smacked at too, uh, wasn't too bad to the point where it destroyed the modules because usually all the modules are located in the left rear Thankfully all the modules are good there. That's true. That's amp, true. One of the, that's one of the items we're gonna be mentioning too was the amp You guys will hear a little bit later how much that costs, but thankfully that was in good shape um, But yeah, so $8,800. $8,800. Price of the car, $8,800 guys. It's Not pretty, too bad. Pretty good price. And you guys know that we like our triples. Like so, get at least triple profit. So you want to tell them how, how much our inventory is looking like right now? So we calculated it guys. Uh, right now our current inventory parts value of stuff that is on our eBay page currently is $29,219. So that is quite a bit. And that's not considering what we've sold already. So we have a few yeah. things that we've already sold. Not much, but a few things. Yeah, we have sold a few things. So that is a nice triple. Something that we, I forgot to mention in the last video that we made. Uh, just something I'd like to mention is that this is just based off of our eBay listing. This is not considering shipping fees. This is not considering eBay fees. This is not considering uh, negotiation. You know, people always send us offers. We like to at least have triple on eBay. Um, just so, you know, worst comes to worst, if we make double, it's double. still double. You know what exactly. I mean? Like that's take home. So that's pretty good. So we like to aim for triple. We don't like to aim for double. So if the car was eight grand, we only make 16 after eBay fees and everything, we might be almost breaking even. Yeah. So that makes sense. Though. Just not worth it. So we like to aim for triples there. Um, so yeah, so far that is looking pretty good. So we went ahead and sold $871 worth of stuff. So it's not anything crazy, uh, but we have made a few sales which helps us recoup our purchase price of the $8,800. So we're getting closer. Realistically, we just gotta sell the engine and we pretty much break even at this point. So that's not too bad, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into some of the bigger ticket items. On this page right here, we got the power steering rack, we got the uh, subframes, we got the exterior door moldings, we got the whole suede Alcantara headliner assembly. We got suede. the suede. Is with, 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 what's it called, the reading light. Yeah, it has a it has a individual, individual reading reading light, light which is very so rare. if you like to be bougie with it and sit in the back and read your book read in your M5, this has got an individual it reading does. light. It does which have a is pretty light. sick, and it's Alcantara. Very rare yeah. feature, by the way. Yeah, yeah. And then we got the engine, um, seventy five hundred bucks. 
about right. 114k miles, runs and drives. Video proof. I mean, you guys saw it in the video saw as well. Video. Perfectly running engine. And then we got the DCT transmission. We got some Brembo brake caliper sets. So pretty big ticket items, as you guys can see right here. Like just these few items are worth a lot. And then moving on, we got the hood. We got the whole radiator, front radiator, condenser assembly. We got the fender. We got the splash guard. Splash guard is worth a crazy amount. Yeah, it's worth a it's lot. Just for plastic. It's literally plastic. It's worth three hundred eighty-five dollars, but. And these are on our sale prices too. So we have the actual price that we have it listed for. And then right now we're running a 15% off sale. So it already drops the price quite a bit. So that is like our bottom dollar on these type of items. We got the wheels, which were worth a lot by themselves. One of them were damaged. We typically like to sell them as sets, but one of them were damaged. So we were forced to list them all separately and we were just kind of shocked. Like, it was worth a we, there's a lot of things that shocked us in terms of pricing on this car. So I can understand why these cars go for so much money. Because like, clean titles, you can get for like 25K. Yeah. This so to, find, to get one wrecked beyond repair for $8,000 or almost $9,000 is a little, I don't know, man. Like I didn't really feel too comfortable with the purchase. But then it is proven that the parts in this it. car, because this is like a hundred thousand dollar car MSRP. Almost. MSRP is very so high. So you, the, the parts are based off of the MSRP, not what it's currently going for. Yeah. So, so these wheels were worth like four. We list up five forty and four fifty based off of the condition, and then just the cast key and DMV <laughs> set. That whole thing is worth seven seventy five listed price. We got the Harman Kardon radio amp. I mean. Four hundred and eighty-five dollars, like for an amp, for an amp. It's just, it's I wild. Would hate to replace one of those. Let me this tell is you. ridiculously expensive. <laughs> and then we got the. Um, before we actually get into these, so this is so these next item. Well, this next item, these two items yeah. are bigger ticket items, but was not what we were expecting. Yeah. So, Jonathan, so each, you went in listing the the control arms. Yeah. So each video, guys, we got we like to give two items. One that we thought was going to be worth a little bit but was worth a lot and one that was worth a, that we thought was going to be worth a lot that was worth a little bit so let's go ahead and start off with the ones that we thought were going to be worth not much that was the control arms so i went in thinking these control arms are going to be like mm, 70 bucks a pop it was m control arms so jonathan came out he's like bro these are worth some money like you listen yeah, and i was, I was like oh it's m control arms 100 bucks 100 bucks because <laughs> we had g80 control arms that we sold for like 100 120 yeah. bucks so i was like 100 bucks 2010 right a 2013 car yeah so guess how much so 350 dollars for one passenger lower control arm just one 350 dollars and that's a good price that was the cheapest one and then the left side for 250 obviously it's on sale as you guys see but still that is crazy for a control, control arm. Like arm. imagine spending 350 bucks on one control arm a used control arm brand new they're going for like five six hundred dollars yes yeah, it's for ridiculous guys so that was something that really surprised me it surprised nor uh we were just genuinely shocked by that one and then the one that we thought was going to be worth a lot more that was not worth as much as we thought was the shift the shift knob so the dct shift knob i thought it was going to be worth around 200 it's typically about how much they go for at least what i thought and, and like e90 uh, m3s they're going for like two three hundred dollars yeah. so you know, this is a newer car. It's an F chassis M5, but $85, $85 well, I mean, I know, after the sale, sale hundred bucks, hundred bucks. It's just like, it's a little, eh, it's whatever. It is what it is. It is what it is. Those are the items that we thought were going to be worth a lot that were worth a little bit. And then what we thought was going to be worth a little bit, but was worth a lot. So we like to do that in each of our videos just to, you know, see what surprises us. Eventually we're going to know all the parts prices <laughs> and there's not going to be anything that really surprises well, us. Well, we're going to try to get a bunch of unique cars on this channel as well. Like we yeah. we're targeting M cars because in our lifetime, honestly, we haven't gotten too many M cars and I've never owned an M5 they, on this channel as well. I think, I don't know if we uploaded the video on the M6, but it was like a past video. We might even just re-upload it on this channel as well. We, these cars that we're buying to dismantle, we've never actually owned them before. So figuring out the parts and the repairs for some of these are kind of crazy. Yeah. Um, and I feel like we're gonna continue to learn more and more things because we want to start buying like cars that we've never honestly laid our hands on or ever driven uh, just to get inventory of those cars. I think it'd be super sick. Sure. So there's this one car that uh, we were hyping up in the last video. And we're gonna hype up again because it might be the next video. It might be the next video. We'll it see. is an insanely rare, rare. M car. 
and like insanely rare. Like it, it's almost, I believe it's just as rare or almost as rare as a 1M. I don't need, I don't think it's as rare as a 1M. No, we're not, we're not, we're not gonna give any more hints because that's already a big yeah, hint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, it could have been that car. It's not even, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so now you guys, up. if you guys guess, we'll, we'll give you guys some air fresheners and a little bit of jet tags. If you, if somebody gets Some merchandise. It, we'll, get, we'll give you guys uh, free merchandise. First person to guess what car this next one is. Uh, it, it's, it's honestly like, honestly, I've always wanted this. I was thinking about making it, like shipping it down with a bare bone so we can offer the parts to you guys but then making a track car out of it. it Fully insane. built track car. We'll see though. See. We'll see, we'll see. It's a dream, we'll currently see. not in the budget. Yeah, we'll see what happens. We're an up and coming business. <laughs> we all have dreams. Yeah. But yeah. I don't want to throw away that shell. That no, shell is it's rare. If you guys can guess it, we'll give you guys some free merch. With that being said, check us out on our Instagram. We post all of our mods that we get off of these cars on there. We post all our new inventory, everything. Exactly. So if you guys don't want to miss anything, again, uh, last video we also stated, we don't post any mods on eBay. No mods on Facebook either. All of our mods are posted straight on Instagram because they sell within 24 hours. So if you guys want to get some mods we find on these cars, like some boltons, coilovers, things like that, exhaust systems, mm -hmm. make sure to follow us on our Instagram, link down below. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoyed this fresh new content that we have been putting out. We've been trying to elevate our YouTube channel and uh, make sure we get the best content as well as making it uh, enjoyable for you guys. So uh, with that being said, make sure to give it a subscribe down below. Make sure to like the video. It would really, really help us out. We're gonna catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.